fight. Today we're going to see if I can recreate an acrylic nail set by using only gel products. And if I can, is it more complicated? And will it look as good as any other acrylic nail set? This nail set was done with acrylic. I love it, but at the moment I only work with gel. And we all know gel products are different from acrylic. So watch me as I attempt to recreate this nail set by Vanessa Nails using only gel products. Some acrylic nail sets can be very intricate. They often include multiple art elements like acrylic flowers, color blocking, imprints such as mermaid scales, and the Chanel quilt design. It's easier to do these type of nail art because of the consistency of acrylic and because we have more examples of nail techs and enthusiasts using acrylic. And because of the running nature of gel, doing this type of nail art may seem impossible. So this is the recreated nail set. It took me about three hours to complete. Furthermore, this was my first time using poly gel. I knew it was going to be a challenge, but I just jumped right into it. So I can continue to bring you frequent nail tutorials. I will be using the prop-off method. I applied McCart's peel-off base coat and attached the longest nail tip I have ever used. I'm going to add Madame Glam base coat to help protect the peel-off base coat from alcohol just in case I need to use it for cleaning up. So you know, alcohol breaks down McCart's peel-off base coat, which is why I use the base coat to protect it. So I'm going to go ahead and attach the nail using a gooseneck lamp off on the side of my desk. And once it's cured, I'll put my hand in my desk lamp for 30 seconds, top it with base, cure that for 30 seconds, and now I'm ready to create an extended nail bed using poly gel. As I mentioned, this is my first time using poly gel. I was running low on my cover gel and I remembered I purchased poly gel about a year ago, so I decided to use it. I've seen tutorials in the past, but this is not my niche. So I don't watch it to learn. I actually like to watch it for entertainment and for the artistry. Anyway, I felt I have seen enough tutorials to fake my way through this application. So I just went for it. I think using poly gel is easy, but to learn how to get the cuticle area tight, still have enough product to transition to the apex and not flood the cuticle area with alcohol or product would definitely take some finessing. But all in all, I think I did a good job on my first try. Although, as you can see, I do need to build this nail bed up in two steps. But in general, I did manage to create a beautiful extended nail bed. So off camera, I did do my ring finger because I was not going to make you guys suffer through that again. Anyway, so I love Vanessa's color combination. I picked out similar colors, but at the last minute I changed my mind because I have yet to use all of the colors I bought for fall. So for today, I'm using DND 729 Ambrosia and DC 099 Bayberry. My next step is to create a ledge to help give the illusion of color blocking. I did that by painting two layers of the Ambrosia and then creating a small ledge for the IBD Builder. The reason I created the ledge is because I wanted my lines to be clean. I wanted the glitter line crisp and I also wanted the polish at the free edge to be as sharp as well. I did try this method or I did try this nail without creating the ledge. The lines did not look that crisp, but it really didn't look that bad. So I did polish the no ledge on my thumb and I think I and I think it looks okay. And I think I'll show you guys how it looks in later in the video. Anyway, so after curing, I will use a 100 grit file to file straight across to create clean lines on the top and on the bottom. There's no need to file on top because when I cover with the clear building gel, you cannot see or tell the difference if the section is rounded or if it's flat. So my next step is to create an outline around the extended nail bed. While Vanessa did not do this, I love seeing that thin line surrounding the nail bed. It just looks so sharp to me. And plus, I did all that work. I want to show it off. So I used that dark blue to create the outline. It is not an opaque color, so I will do two coats. And I'll go ahead and cure uh, for 30 seconds between each layer. So I originally picked out these dual colored shards for this nail set. But in order to add dimension and I needed some smaller glitter particles. So this glitter is 
something I purchased from AliExpress and it is, and I pre-mixed it in some gel. Not only would this small glitter create dimension, but it will also act as a glue so the shards could stick to something. I end up doing two layers, curing 30 seconds in between each coat. I think I could have gotten away with one coat, but in the spirit of extraness, I gotta stay consistent. I did two coats. <laughs> So after I applied the glitter, I did notice I got some glitter on that blue and I needed to get rid of it. So once again, I used my hand file, I knocked the particles off, then I removed the dust and then jumped right into my next step. I'm going to paint the tip with DC 099 Bayberry. I did one coat and then I went in with a cat eye gel from Nail Supply Glamour number 011. Then I used a, manic, a magnet <laughs> to create the eye, the cat eye effect. And I flashed for 10 seconds. Well, I was okay with the green reflect. It just didn't make my heart flutter. So I painted over it with number 008, also from Nail Supply Glamour. The blue reflect is perfect to me. I can still see the green when I turn my hand in the light, but it's not as prominent as the blue. So all is well. Now that I'm finished with my middle finger, I'll go ahead and start on my ring finger. This one will be a little different, but I'm going to um, create this thin line around the bed, nail bed still. But instead of just focusing on a nail bed, I'm going to bring down the blue color to create an ombre. I will use the micro glitter, then the duo shards. I don't add too much, just enough to know that it's there. I'll go ahead and cure and then reapply the micro glitter so the maple leaf glitter can have something to stick to. Now, let me tell you guys about this maple leaf glitter. A couple weeks ago, I dropped some glitter on the floor. So I had to re-up, of course. I go to Amazon and randomly purchase a replacement that was about $9. It was the same price as before. Tell me why they sent me those big bags of glitter. I have 10 extremely large bags of maple glitter that I have no idea what to do with. Anyway, once I'm finished with applying the glitter, I'm going to go ahead and cap with my gel from my squeezable tube. Yeah, I know I love this method. This is IBD gel, builder gel in this tube. If you're gonna do long nails like I'm doing now, this will save you time. Um, it will save you time on capping the nail. It will save you time on filing the nail because the nail just looks pulled together and it's super easy. So I'm gonna end up doing both of my fingers. Now, by the end of it, I didn't too much like how um, my apex was looking. So when I ended up filing, I did end up going through and adding some clear builder gel to help build up my apex. So we're going to go ahead and remove the inhibition layer with the paper towel and alcohol. And by TV Magic, my index pinky nail um, was suddenly appear. And all of my nails will be filed and ready for top coat. For all of y'all out here who want their top coat to appear super glossy, let me put you on. Use a primer before adding your top coat. Young Nails Primer or IBD Power Bomb will make your nails look like they are still wet but glossy. I have used Koopa. I have used Madam Glam. I have used IBD. Um, and they all have been no wipe top coat. And the shine is immaculate using this technique. It is top tier ladies. You see this top tier. Come on, man. So this is what my nails look like after they were cured for two minutes. I think they look really great. But Miss Vanessa was extra and added some rhinestones. So I did the same. 
So to answer my original question, can I recreate an acrylic set using only gel products? Yes. Is it more complicated? No. And will it look as good as any other acrylic set? Absolutely yes. So if you ever question which is better to use, acrylic or gel, I would simply say it depends on your preference because gel can do 99.99% of the same things acrylic can do. The only thing I think gel can do is to use a net to create the mermaid scale, but that does not mean that mermaid scales cannot be done with gel. You just have to think outside of the box. If you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like or a comment. If you want to see more of me, click subscribe and let me slide into your YouTube feed. Otherwise, click one of the videos on your screen so we can finish talking about gel nail art. Lastly, thank you for watching. See you soon.